chairman of Renaissance. And Renaissance was considered to be an independent body that advocates for change. So, I'm not asking you to ask about you were, you were Minister of Information where President Kuma announced austerity measures from State House. Yes. No matter you're in frequent energy, and I am against that, I will not accept. This is not President Bill's free quality education. So the economy went bad from your own time. Yes, you know, you know, yes. you know, you know, I will feel it difficult for interpret the, the connotations that they Mm. As the Anti-Corruption Commissioner, have you been approached to be compromised or corrupted in the matter you are investigating? Don't they talk about the ills of the country for years, mm -hmm. five years to election? I know them. President Bio at the time, Nabi Mumu. AYV Television on Channel 33 with the broadcast live from his studios in Atawail, na Fritong. Um, with the online, www.ayvnews.com, with the stream on Radio FM 11.7, and same way so now we website, www.ayvnews.com, um, AYV News, now we Facebook page, and you can get with mobile app as well. Um, you can watch we wherever you they go. You just need to go on your phone or your smart device and download the AYV mobile app or smart app, and um, you watch we wherever and whenever you want. Welcome, this is uh, the Art Talk Show, Hot Seats, the program where they ask the questions they want to ask, where they talk to people in our government, politicians, people in civil society, um, the media, uh, people that we get responsibility for ensuring they do things them for move this country go before. We can ask them what in can be the role, um, what in they do, and how they ensure say. Um, you know, the responsibilities then we then get, then follow through with them so that we all go enjoy this one green country where we get. I welcome my viewers from across the country and across the world, and especially with people on our Facebook. As always, we appreciate the comments, them, the reviews, them on the program. But as we can always appeal, um, we can agree for disagree because you're not even right. Fully, we all agree on one thing, and also democracy, Dandy. So <laughs> democracy provides for we disagree, they we get diverse views. But when we do that, we will expect other people them. We will expect the views of other people. As we can always say, um, majority of winners alone, I can say 99% want this country for better. Because we know we sabi. We know to, to seem, we know get other side for go. And even if you get other side for go, now you have family, you know go on away left you family, you know. So we all want peace for continuing for dinner this country. We all want to enjoy this country. We want a better health um, care service. We want better education. We want better transportation. We want life to be better for we all. But everybody get their own way out and think say this for happen. Or get to that and they support political party or politician with and think say for they in charge for make this happen. Now we write. Now you write for do that. But when they do that, you for respect the other person. It don't mean say for abuse of faith we save because one thing they were all we all together, that's now we nationality. The thing we make we say unions. You know, everybody will get passport where they move come on this country. Then they ask who's tribe or who's region you come from. Now your nationality they the unitary union. So now that's what get at the back of we mind and where we they disagree, let we do that respectfully. We kindly they appeal to people and our platform, especially with Facebook page. Not for abuse, not for cost person, disagree with the person respectfully. Welcome to the show. Inside today on program, we can't talk about human rights. A lot of things do happen in, in, the, in just four years. We don't get a lot of things. Things that we happen at Makeni, Tumbo, we get a prison break, the riot issue we happen there. And most recently, we get uh, Wednesday, August 10th. We don't see a lot of fights between police, civilians, and, and, and Usai civilians, and they abuse police rights. And police and self, they abuse people and rights. And if I can talk about this today, I get with me the Deputy Commissioner of the Human Rights Commission of Sierra Leone, Wena Victor uh, Lansana. They're with me at the studios. And uh, we they can talk about the grade A status as well, where the Sierra Leone Human Rights Commission don't get. Welcome to the show, VI. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure being here. You're welcome. How, how has it been? You know, um, you've been practicing as, 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 no, as yeah. a lawyer. 
but somebody will get keen interest in human rights issues. And after 2018, you were appointed to serve as one of the commissioners, and you become the deputy as well. How has it been for you? Yes, um, thank you very much for having me on the program. Um, as a matter of fact, we as a commission, Human Rights Commission of Sigalim, always um, really they appreciate the kind of opportunity they have for let we able to talk to Fambulen. So um, coming to this program, you know, it's a very good pleasure for us. You know, um, it's been um, a mix, I would say, a mixed feeling. Um, we had, I mean, the lows and the highs, you understand? Because sometimes when you take a position on national issues, if it doesn't favor, for instance, government, you know, you get some people them, you know, we will call you begin blast for you. Oh, you are not for the government, or oh, the imbalanced government, or oh, blah, blah, blah. And when you, you take, I mean, uh, those way beyond the way, when we government officials they will call you, or people them win as supporters or fans of government, you know, where they don't blast, blast you during that period, you will get other people then will call you, you know, probably not from opposition or other view. They will always say you did well, listen that, blah, blah, blah. And then when there is another issue will come up, I mean, you take another position, you know, we think say, it is correct by the laws, by the policies, you know, by best practice. I mean, they would turn back. The other one would say, oh, mm. um, you know, opposition person, or I mean, you could say, you say, oh, you know, government uh, uh, operative, blah, blah, blah. So you see, so it's not easy. I mean, we live in a country where say mistrust a day at the, at the highest. Mm. You know, we don't get trust for, for WSEF. We don't get uh, belief in WSEF. Even, I mean, normally, on a private uh, interaction, you know, send somebody for go buy for you sweet milk or, or what have you. You, you, you always want for, you know, whether, whether what you can what you say, the money we can with, or the receipt we can with, whether it's authentic or whatever. So that is the kind of society we do so right now. Yes. And it's very, very difficult uh, for creates. This is a political appointment. It's yes, very it is. clear. Have you been under pressure? You, you just talk about how, um, you know, sometimes you go get people in the way, um, you know, they support government. So within a government, perhaps, could call you and, and not feel good about your opinion. I, I can recall one unpopular opinion, perhaps, would be, um, the issue we've been getting to do with the ACC commissioner yeah, and the teachers now cutting three, where you as an individual, as one of the commissioners, come out clearly and say, no, that was, that was an abuse. Have you been pressured to some extent? Well, you know, I mean, like I say, you get pressure from even people in we no, no get any government position. Mm. But, I mean, they, they support government, mm. okay? So they will call you and they will, uh, I mean, say a lot of things, okay? And the only thing, the only consolation we get, you know, as the commission, and the fact that there has never been a time where, you know, a government officer or a president or whosoever, you know, of our authority will call you and try to dictate the, op the, the, the opinions or the views or the operations of the commission. Mm -hmm. No, we don't actually enjoy that kind, I mean, latitude, that kind of freedom. Day. Mm -hmm. So it's very important that we say that because you know, so for some of we, the kind of we we training, mm -hmm. you understand, we get very critical mm -hmm. mind, very critical training. So we want to do work then, you know, devoid from, I mean, politics, devoid from what people think, you know. So, so in essence, you say you've been, you're operating independently, there's, there's ever been oh, yes, that, that, yes. that aspect of where you've been questioned for a certain statement in, or in position? No, no, no. I mean, the, the issue of uh, operations has been very clear, has been... I mean, one way has never been influenced, okay? So for instance, to say, what can you do or what can you not do? Mm -hmm. You understand? That That's one, we don't get, ever get a situation where, I mean, they will call you and tell you, say, or government official will call you and tell you, say, not do this mm -hmm. or not do that. No, we don't ever get that. Mm -hmm. I'm only saying that when we take a position, mm -hmm. once we don't take a position, there are some people that we, you know, we could feel so strong about that. Mm -hmm. They could begin call you names, they could begin think, say, oh, you are for a balanced government. You know, you talk about that ACC and the teachers them. Mm -hmm. You know, that was, I mean, amongst many of the very critical um, positions that we don't take, you know, as a commission. Mm -hmm. People, some man would don't, some people call you and tell you, say, oh, why, why did you do that? You know, you're gonna, I mean, uh, national media begin to say a lot of things. And I said, well, this is the job. Mm -hmm. And this is what the job actually calls for. If I don't do this, then I, ju I just need to pack my bag and then leave and go back uh, to court. Have you been enjoying so this job? Have you been enjoying uh, Well, it's all the, you see the issue of enjoyment. Um, it's something that I like because by my nature, I, I like challenging things. I like um, to be very critical. Mm -hmm. You know, I want to, to think hard. And, and 
you know, I like um, arguments, mm -hmm. you understand? That is why I actually found myself in the courts, you know, in the profession of law. Mm -hmm. So um, at some point, it is, it, is, it is very enjoyable, but sometimes when you have to go in far-flung areas, you know, you know, in Zimi, you go for go Konon, beyond the borders, you know, just for protecting and promoting human rights, sometimes it's really risky. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, looking at how, for instance, how road users, them, I mean, drivers, they're very, very reckless on the way, you know, so you put your life on, on, on the risk, um, I mean, using the wood. But ah. I, mean, I mean, generally, I think it's, it's, it's enjoyable. Generally, I think it's something that, um, you know, I like doing, you know. Well, well, you know, we just recently when I announced, um, you, you know, the commission um, having a, a greater status. And um, what does this mean, you know, um, for a commission like this in, in, in Sierra Leone? What does it mean to, to the nation? Okay, and before I ask, uh, actually answer that question directly, what does it mean? Le, um, I use the opportunity for the family to understand exactly mm -hmm. with how we would would get there or how normally they, they conduct this whole assessment. So, um, family knows that Sierra Leone are a member of the United Nations. The United Nations gets several bodies then, okay? So then get um, the United Nations Human Rights Council. So you, you, UN Human Rights Council, Office of the <coughs> High Commissioner for Human Rights, normally they do assessment of national human rights institutions then. Mm -hmm. They can also do assessment of, of countries, of states then, mm -hmm. you know, we they part of the UN body. Family members say last year they do an assessment of Sierra Leone, you know, it's a voluntary process to say member states them, they give up themselves for make their, them peer review them, for talk about how they, they actually do, I mean, um, they, 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 they try for ensure that people enjoy their human rights. So this one now, is different from that one day, because then in a state, in a state in a assessment, this one, uh, National Human Rights Institutions, what we call normally NHRIs. So this one, um, the, the, the UN body, Office of, National, Office of High Commissioner for Human Rights, it gets a body or is an office within the, what they call, we in fact, um, um, we also are a member, they call it GANRI, we a Global Alliance for National Human Rights Institutions. Now, an accredited, I mean, institution, we they actually look at the assessment of uh, the, the enjoyment of human rights, how national human rights institutions actually they, mm -hmm. they operate. Mm -hmm. So they put, I mean, they, they, they don't do assessment over the years. So the, the Human Rights Commission of Sierra Leone has been assessed for three, on three occasions, 2011, 2016, and now we get um, 2022 assessment. Um, they get issues, they get things they normally really look out for. You want to put your phone on silent mode? Oh, is it my phone? Okay, I think so. Mm -hmm. Okay, I just saw okay. here. Okay, no, okay, no, no, continue. No. That's okay. So um, the the the, the Ghana gets a subcommittee on accreditation mm -hmm. when uh, the SCA. Now they, they look at several issues and we they try to assess you. You know, um, they get what we call the Paris Principles. The Paris Principles now a United Nations document we adopt in 1993. That document they and they show how national human rights institutions them for operate, how do they set them up in the first place, mm -hmm. and when they don't set them up, how they for operate. So there are requirements mm -hmm. for you to get um, a grade A status or for you to get a grade B status. Okay. So we get about now 119, I mean, national human rights institutions them, we the under that body day, okay. we Saluna one. Mm -hmm. Out of that 119 day, we get about um, um, 89, we in a grade A status, national human rights institutions them, we get 30, we are grade B national human rights institutions them. So we, they look at we, I mean, they look at the Paris principles, they look at we laws, they look at what we want to do over the years, you know, for the, and normally now every, every five years. Okay. So this assessment and for the last five years, they don't do them, okay? So they don't look at everything they do, and when they're ready, they, they ask you for make you submit documents to call statement of compliance. You know, you submit them together with different other documents, them, your policies and press releases, your annual reports, your audit reports, all of these are, documents that we really use for support your case. Mm -hmm. So they look at all of that and say, yes, we have been compliant with the Paris Principles. So the Paris Principles, they tell you, say, for instance, you for be independent of government. Your operations should not be one way government they control. Mm. That is, I mean, we pass that, side, that, that aspect there. Then they say also, you for be pluralistic in the sense that um, you set up, you know, we look at you, you, you staff, you staffing, you know, mm -hmm. generally, if for be one way, you know, it gets um, a diverse, okay. um, I mean, whether not ethnicity or, I mean, um, different people in society. So for instance, we get, we get a pe a persons living with disability. We get, um, I mean, a lot of women in the United Human Rights Commission of Sierra Leone. We get, um, I mean, um, people that we cut across ethnic barriers you know, in this country. So 
because of that, they say, yes, we have been able to actually meet the Paris principles or the, the standards set out in the Paris principles. Then they tell you say also there should be, I mean, um, government support in terms of um, giving you resources. So there should be adequate resources given to the commission. And you have been enjoying that? Well, we have been enjoying that progressively. I mean, over time, government only increase. I mean, although it's not so much as we want them, mm. but it is really appreciable because we look at who's our commot, mm. you know, to who's our so right now. I think, see, there has been some increment, incremental, I mean, progress, you know, in mm. terms of resources. We still want more because mm. we want to ensure, say, within our every district right now, we get physical presence in all the regions. You know, in 2020, when we come into office, we are able to establish one um, at the new regional, uh, 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 I mean, geogra geographic uh, 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 location, uh, Poloko. Mm. Um, also, um, early this year, we also do establish another office space now, Fritonia, because of the, you know, the headquarters would be, they say, securitized. It's securitized okay. in the sense, na, a security zone now one day. You know, remember, say, state thousand year day, um, na, in fact, the share, Bill with neck, you know, vice president office the opposite day. So sometimes for many people, the access to it becomes difficult. a very difficult and uh, difficult problem. So now make we try now to go into, I mean, the heart of Freetown by big markets to don't office, to open another office space day mm -hmm. so that people will easily access to it if they're able for canal headquarters. Okay. So all of these, na, you know, na issues that we did take into account for CC years so they actually, I mean, serve human rights and we try for ensure that people then get human rights and they enjoy their human rights. So mm -hmm. we we'll forget board mandates, we we'll forget, I mean, board functions, you know, board mandates for prot protect and promote human rights, board functions for able for ensure, say, you know, we reach out to people and tell them for about their rights and responsibilities you know we able for ensure that people they understand how for actually access you know the rights and different other things then okay, okay. so all of these are issues then we um, the human rights commission don't do put in place since we come into being you know in 2004 the the, the, the law we create the commission and in 2004 the commission start for operate fully in 2006 and in 2011 they begin accessory mm -hmm. we get grade a in 2011 we get grade b a also in 2016 a grade A also in 2022. So okay. I think we have made progress, and although it's challenging, but we have made tremendous progress uh, uh, as a commission. So, so with, with, with all of this, you know, us being assessed this way globally, um, what's, in, what's in your own assessment of um, the current state of human rights in this country? Generally, what's in your assessment? Um, the current state of human rights in Sierra Leone, you know, it's difficult to have a clear cut. Um, um, or a one-word description of them, mm. whether it is bad, it is good, it is, um, um, I would say we, we are trying as a country. We have several challenges, but, mm. you know, I mean, going, the going, challenge, going yeah. back. Is it that people's going, rights have not been expected? Back, Your recommendations are not, have not been, back, been implemented? As well, well, going back since, I mean, going back um, since the end of the war in 2002, or even before that, you know, for instance, um, there was no national human rights institution, mm. okay, in 2002. 2004, they created the National Human Rights Commission of Sierra Leone. Mm -hmm. So that is one. Because the assessment of human rights, it gets different um, layers. So you want to know whether in the first place there are laws that protect human, I mean, human rights or people are able to enjoy their rights, you know. Then you want to know whether there are institutions where are responsible for protect and promote human rights. You want, we for, get. you want to know, yes, you want to know mm -hmm. also, where well, you want to assess human rights of mm -hmm. a country. You also, also want to know whether these institutions are really um, I mean, they are active, they are effective in their mm -hmm. operations, you know, mm -hmm. for protect and promote human rights, mm -hmm. you know. So all of these are, 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 are the different, I mean, parameters we so, really so use for assess can, human can rights. Limit, so, can we limit so this assessment to, the, to, to so yeah, four years, say three or four years where you don't, where you don't work now, na, na this um, um, human rights commission, yeah. you don't de yeah. supervise and oversee. What's in like, the general assessment? I've, I've, have rights of people been respected by, by the government or state institutions? Well, that's the point. You know, um, I've just said it's difficult to give a one-word description to that question because, um, you know, when you look at the space now, um, with the imagine media, the social media, people are able to express themselves. Mm -hmm. And also we see how sometimes the authorities, for instance, the police will respond to that. You know, it tells you that mm -hmm. um, there are challenges in that area. But um, the fact that, for instance, um, somebody go able for come at AYV, for instance, and express your opinion or go na uh, uh, ninety eight point two one, whichever, we have got several uh, media institutions in this country, whether na print media, whether na electronic media, several of them are coming up. Mm -hmm. So that tells you that yes, we are growing, but you know we have to do more as a country for be able for ensure say people are able for enjoy human rights and also. 
the enjoyment of human rights also goes along with um, performing your responsibilities. So mm -hmm. people also get their own um, responsibilities. So we look at the Constitution of Sierra Leone, Section 13. It clearly says every Sierra Leonean get for insurance. He, 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 for instance, be patriotic. It provides for that section. It provides for the duties of a citizen. Mm -hmm. So Sierra Leone has a for understand say also in as much as government gets state obligations and we as a commission will always hold government accountable on those state obligations but Sierra Leone also get duties them you know for instance for be patriotic for put Sierra Leone above whatever interest the constitution say above your political interest religious interest ethnic interest re regional interest as the case may be and it also says that um, Sierra Leone as a for insurance say wherever you belong whichever community you belong you for render I mean, assistance to law enforcement authorities then for be able to protect law and order or for promote law and order in society, in the community which I belong. So, you know, it's a mixed bag. Let, but let, let's narrow it down to how, say, uh, police they expect people and rights. Okay. Uh, or how people and they expect they, they use safe rights. Um, a lot of times, you know, I don't come out with recommendation calling for reforms within mm -hmm. the police itself and, and a, a lot of issues. We've seen videos where people are being, um, you know, treated, being treated badly by the police. We don't see them videoed in the social media, mm. plenty of them. Mm. In, in Una Yon assessment, and I think say the institutions there, some of the, these institutions, we, we don't get cases of people who have been arrested and detained them for a very long time. We get cases of LAJ, when mm. I even come out mm. with a statement, when I even ask for the police allow mm. for see this, for, access. Uh, uh, for their access to Benghazi, and you were denied that. Is it that you, the commission has not been expected? So um, it's one of the issues that we then raise during this assessment. Um, they say, I mean, the law clearly states uh, which uh, we get we forget unhindered access to government um, facilities and for, mm -hmm. I mean, monitor human rights, mm -hmm. promotion of, or protection of human rights. But then also they note say um, they don't get instant suicide. Sierra Leone, uh, I mean, the commission. I mean, was prevented from actually accessing mm -hmm. what is then called Benghazi. You understand? Yeah. I mean, what's yeah. in and up till now, we not get access. No, no, no. We, we have done so. So we 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 we, we took on, on on the police. We told them that that was that was I mean wrong. It was I mean never put, supported by any law. We quoted the relevant laws. I mean, national we law in Sierra Leone. We we, we act. I mean, section <coughs> section nine is very clear on that. And then also international instruments that we quote all of that. And then. From there, they got to understand, that, oh yes, what they did was wrong. So now they allowed us, we have gone there, you know, we have inspected the, 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 the facility, and then we also get a report, we be able to engage them as well. Mm. So at the end of the day, they allowed us. But, um, you know, generally, the police, you know, we've come a long way as a, as a nation in terms of, I mean, policing, in terms of what the, the work of the police. Um, the work of the, of the police, they've been doing a very good job, but it's difficult for us to to see, um, to deny that they don't have anything more to add. They have to do much more to ensure that um, they, 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 they get the respect or the trust of the people. Because you know what? Um, uh, government come and go, okay? I mean, we have governments, um, the SAP government today, yesterday it was the APC government, tomorrow it will be the NGC government, and all that, that will be, I mean, government coming and going. Mm. But these institutions remain. So our objective has always been you know, we create a society, that is the vision of the commission. We create a society who say human rights, the culture of human rights is embedded in, 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 our, in our country. We are, I mean, national institutions are able to, to deliver on their mandates. So on the issue of the police, we believe, mm. say, the police need to be much more professional, you know, in, 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 in doing their job, in coming in, 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 in contact with, with the public. Because as a matter of fact, on a daily basis, we but interface but with the police. But there is level of impunity, some level of impunity where they happen. It, it, when I don't make a lot of recommendations. Um, when, I, when I raise a very serious concern with the shaving of LAJ, mm -hmm. and police confirmed that they did this, mm -hmm. and you said this was an abuse of his rights, mm -hmm. and no one, he's standing trial, mm -hmm. and no one has been held accountable for this. So um, the issue of um, impunity is a very serious one. Mm -hmm. Remember um, when they established the Special Court for Sierra Leone, that was one of the biggest issues, OK? Mm -hmm. Forget people and we, um, we bear the greatest responsibility for be punished so that there will not be a recurrence. Um, with police, you know, some of the recommendations that we only put out, sometimes they could drag them foot, but sometimes they could actually honor them. We've seen, for instance, where um, the issue will be up on a, a, a IPAM, you know, mm -hmm. with the almost um, trip naked that, that IPAM students, and then the shooting na, 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 um, I mean, uh, on the east part of Freetown, we came in, we told them that this, that was wrong, 
and then we made our recommendations. Some of those police officers actually, they were set aside, they were mm. investigated, and then they were set aside from the police. Mm. So um, not, they are not taking all the recommendations them, you know, I mean, and, and act on them, but some of them, they have been actually looking at them, they have been taking, I mean, punitive measures, administrative, administrative measures them, for against them. You know, when, we, when they went to McKinney, okay, um, we criticized them, we condemned them for their high-handedness, you know, mm. in the, with the situation, and, you know, we engaged them, we did our report investigations, and then we brought out our reports and with recommendations. But then the second time when they went to McKinney to interview the, the former president, Dr. Nes Baikuruma, you saw exactly how they were professional. So it tells you that the police could be really professional if they choose to. You know, when they went there, we saw all of the lawlessness around. You know, ACC was prevented from doing their job, okay? But then the police handled the, the, the situation very professionally. And at the end of the day, we don't hear of any I mean, uh, uh, we are incident of um, law, uh, uh, of. Um, we, we, uh, we've uh, had instances of where people and they die, and I'm just giving. A very yes, yes, yes. But so but these no instances, one, nobody, people and none die. Other, others have been arrested. They stand in trial or they've been convicted. Nobody in the security sector. With the, with so, the, so with the McKinney shooting, the so killing, so, so, so I, I, is the commission aware of anybody with the whole accountable so, for that? So I'm just kill people in a McKinney? Okay, so I'm just saying, I mean, I'm not going to you, you, you transform the discussion for make it look like who, um, I am here as the mouthpiece of the police. No, I'm no, not. no, I'm not asking. I'm asking no, the I, I, commission so I'm, because let me the commission, point out that is your responsibility. Exactly. No, 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 wait. So, no, no, no. So, so come out with recommendations and tell them do this, do that. Uh -huh, this is exactly. What you do. So that's the point now. So that is yeah, the point. But, but you should highlight. So there are, there are, wait. There so are. I, I, I'm putting in a context. Lamana, I ask you a question. No, I've, no, I've, I've, no, I've, I've had a question. question earlier about what are the status, what are your assessments mm -hmm. of human rights? If people are being killed and people who we are involved in that are not being held accountable, what thing will be your assessment? So my, I mean, I'm saying that those people, whosoever is responsible, should be held accountable. Mm. But then uh, let's, let's look at, let's have I mean, a clear understanding of the rules. Mm. This Human Rights Commission is not, um, for instance, the, the police or the office of the mm. Attorney General or Minister of Justice. Mm. That office is responsible to I mean, prosecute on behalf of the state. Okay, so when we make we do our monitoring activities, we present our reports. We expect that these institutions will be able to act on them. Okay, um, it is the office of the the DPP's office, the Director of Public, Public Prosecutions, that is responsible to ensure that it I mean, takes those matters to court mm. and, and 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 charge. And then we also have the IPCB. The IPCB actually looks at um, the, the excessive yes the, the excessive use of force by the police, and then they make a recommendation for prosecution by the office of DPP. Mm. So um, the DPP's office should be able to answer questions about why no, no, are people asking, not brought to, I'm, I'm, no, to court, you know, to, this, for, no, be, for them to asking, be accountable. No, I'm, I'm relating this to okay. um, you know the general perspective or view of the commission mm. of respect for human rights. We are in an instance, people will die, you'll go, you investigate, you make recommendations, and no one is held accountable. How do I feel about this as a commission? No, no, that, I mean, we, 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 we don't feel any, if you know, you do your work, you expect that the, at, the, at the end, at the other end of the, of, the, of the table, you know, there should be another institution taken up, you know, to continue, because the process is long, the commission comes out with recommendations, and then it should be the next step. The next step is, for instance, if it's about prosecution, mm -hmm. you know, the DPP's office, uh, the, like I just told you about the IPCB, they take the matter to court and so on and so forth. They recommend to the DPP to charge the matter to court and so on and so forth. So you don't, you don't, you don't, feel, you don't feel good at all if you do your work and the next party that is supposed to or responsible to, to take it further does not do it. So you feel very bad about so this. So Usauna can take this. Usauna they take this as a commission because Una self gets a responsibility, um, you know, for for advocate for the people, for for see how so institutions and they expect the rights of people. And there are instances where Usauna don't come out with recommendations and nothing is being done. So that is that is the reason why, um, Lamana, you are aware of the public inquiry that the commission launched in um, in January this year. Mm. Okay, that one is ongoing. And it's, it's, it's a way for us to actually, I mean, put a stop or, I mean, have a way of addressing impunity and accountability. How can you address impunity and account when and accountability. you've investigated no, wait, issues so, that so were involved? Told you about, no, I've just told you about, no, hold on, hold on, I'm coming. you issues that were involved death of people. So I'm coming. And I'm asking again the same question. Okay. There are people who were arrested, then stand trial, some then non-charge them. 
so then they don't convict them, so then still they stand trial. And people who were involved in this, they're not, they're not, no, nobody cares about them. When, when they keep making the use of people, people, they <laughs> just no, but police, take my nine to so. Police and the military <laughs> are involved in this, according to your report. <laughs> yes. When I go and I investigate, yeah. when I come out with a report, we're very clear who we are, the people, we get gone, we, we're involved in all of this. So yes, I mean, the point is, the point being made is very simple from my own perspective. Um, I just told you about the public inquiry. So the commission now, with the power that we have, once we make recommendations, once we have, I mean, um, we institute an investigations and then we bring up um, recommendations, you know, by the way, let me distinguish between an investigation mm -hmm. and um, um, a monitoring or mm -hmm. what we normally, we normally produce the annual human, human rights report. report. Okay. One of the that, to the yes, president. Yes, that one is a, it's, it's a research document, mm -hmm. okay? But when we actually sit, I mean, the law gives us, Section 8 of our Act, it gives us the, the, the powers of the High Court, you know, to be able to summon witnesses, produce, for them to produce documents or testify on issues. So once that, that is done, we bring our report up and then there are recommendations. We can even now ask for um, compensation. We can ask if, if somebody, if we have any adverse um, recommendation against somebody or an institution, they fail to do so, then we can hold them in contempt. So mm -hmm. we can refer them to the High Court for contempt. So um, it's, it's, it's something, it's dicey, but we are continuing to ensure. get any case of Una, Usha, Una, the old person for contempt. There, you've come out with recommendations that, that I will still insist about cases of death even, <coughs> Usha people and die, and uh, no one has been held accountable for so who shoot uh, or who kill. So, so, so the public inquiry that I was referring to, if mm. you know, it, it is for a period of seven years from 2015 to 2021. Mm. And that is still, we are, it's still ongoing. By, we expect that by the end of this year, we'll have been able to actually complete this process. We, at some point, I mean, by this um, um, August 10 um, um, incident, we, we had to, to stop, you know, to ensure that we have stability in the country before we could continue. Mm. So that is the means of ensuring that at the end of the day, um, those recommendations will have directives and orders. Mm -hmm. So it's not, it's not just reports, I mean, it's not just recommendations mm -hmm. for that. Mm -hmm. We're going to have directives and orders. Mm. So we could order that you pay compensation, we could order that you do, um, uh, 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 I mean, a public apology, we could order that you um, be taken away from the police force, as the case may be, you know, mm -hmm. when we find you, I mean, culpable of any, I mean, human rights infraction. Mm -hmm. So that can't say they will do. Okay, in, in, in cases, Usai, you know, um, you know, the rights of people are, are abused and only come out clearly and able to investigate and show, say, no, this what they did is wrong. And that individual, they, um, they're still all um, they're still all um, in detention or in the stand trial, but the people them way on um, <laughs> no say being them people they are they abuse this person in rights. Uh, there is no no form of compensation. How how una can navigate in that situation? And I will give the case of LJ again. Okay. You came out clearly. You said cutting off is here. No, no law, mm. no the way get mm -hmm. police that that rights there. But here is LJ. He's standing trial. I just read that the news very recently. Say he's not even well. He has been in detention for over four months. And it, are, are you looking at, at how this could have affected his rights and his well-being, his humanity as well? You know, I see you are very much interested in LAG. I mean, no, I'm using are, it as we, an example. It's all, one of the most recent cases. Yeah, no, we are no, all I'm not just interested in it. Yeah, I mean, we are all we interested all should in it. Yeah, exactly. In that's, the yeah. that's the point. That's the point. So, uh, uh, no, uh, it's just because you, you continue to make mention of the same case. You know, Lamana, in the first place, it is good that you have an institution that is bold enough to be able to come out in the face of everything to say what you did, you know, telling another government institution that what you did was wrong. Mm. That's the first thing. And don't, 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 I mean, downplay it as if it's nothing. You know, there are institutions who are not able or who do not have the moral fortitude to does, actually. Does it stop there? Does it know, stop there? No, so, so that's the first thing. Looking at the right. So that's the first thing. To You're inform the public. The of this individual. To inform the public in the first place that this is our position on this issue. Mm. And the Human Rights Commission is a very serious institution in anywhere in the, in, in the world. So national, um, international bodies, okay, I mean, they, 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 they use our reports. Our reports are on our website on a daily basis. They use our reports to assess the country, you know. So, and they use our report to do other things, okay. So in the first place, if, they, if the institution is able to come out clearly and state its position as against what, I mean, a public institution would do, mm. you know, it's, it's a very good... Um, thing that we have to celebrate. But going above that, 
the next stage is to ensure that um, our recommendations are taken very seriously. Mm -hmm. So that is why what we have done now is to ensure that we, we review our existing law mm -hmm. so that we have the ability to take matters to court on our own, in our name, mm -hmm. which now, as we, as we speak, the law doesn't provide for that. All what mm -hmm. we could do, you know, now for what they say, amicus brief, you know, could, I mean, in, in the first place, even before you could, you could do, you could file for amicus brief, what does that mean? Now for go to the court and say, I, me, I'm an, a friend of the court, you know, I get expert a, a, a witness, you know, uh, or expertise, mm -hmm. you know, as an expert in this matter. Then you, you have to listen to the judge to say, the judge will say, okay, I can see that this matter is really related to human rights, then I will allow you or not allow you. Mm -hmm. So, but we want to pass that stage. We want to ensure that this time around, we are able to take a case on our own, you know, against human rights um, uh, uh, abusers. So, 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 so I want to so ask again, in as much as, 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 as this day happened, when I get that power, they will go. I, I still want to ask on issues that we get for do with protecting and respecting the rights of people. There's been the cases and non the way we identify and say, no, these people are also on a need for respecting rights. Mm -hmm. And we've seen Usai continuously they've been detained, they've been appearing in courts, and go complain about their well-being, then go steal them at courts, they're not go give them bail. How do you intervene in those instances? The point I'm making is, how do you help in respecting and protecting the rights of Sierra Union citizens? So, um, I'm going to try to distinguish between um, uh, I mean, processes or investigations mm -hmm. at the police level mm -hmm. and proceedings in the court. Mm -hmm. So, the, at the police level, you know, see, the constitution is very clear, section 17, I mean, Three days for, I mean, minor offences. They can hold you while they investigate. Three days for minor offences. If not any, I mean, but felony. But when you supersede all these, that your rights must be expected. Exactly. So that is the point I'm trying so to yes. make. I understand all land. Whether not the police, whether no, no, they don't no, no the court. point on the issue of the courts. Yeah. Now, now that one for address. Yeah, but what I'm saying, but, you just explain say, mm -hmm. when I get something we go make, when I can able go to the court and say, when I'm a friend of the court, mm -hmm. and make a case, right? Mm -hmm. That was what you were trying to yeah. say. So I'm asking in an instance, so someone I identify person say, this person from the police detention, they don't abuse him right. Charging him to court is right, this same person in rights and don't abuse her. How do you come in to protect this individual for ensure so they're expecting rights as a citizen? I had a case, I had a case, um, I think it was last year or so, um, in Kabbalah. Uh, that issue, I mean, it was about two families um, over Chief Tensi, or Paramount Chief Tensi or so, and then um, some people were arrested or so. They had to be kept in police custody for a long time. Mm. And then later on, the police went back to review their charges. You know, the people were again, I mean, brought to for different charges. And then when I engaged them, um, I mean, the judiciary, I mean, members of the judiciary, I mean, officers, they said the, what the police does is quite different from what we do. Mm. You know, whether this person has been in police nets for the, I mean, beyond the Consuming a time limit, whether three days or, 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 or ten days, it, it doesn't count for us, according to them. It doesn't count for them. So they are an independent um, institution with the, I mean, judicial uh, mandate. You know? So it, it becomes an issue of yes, I would say I, will, I, I insisted that no, these people, they've been there. These people have been there in police custody for a long time. So why can't you look at that as well? You know, and now grant them bail. You know, it doesn't mean that they will, they will go away. But you know, um, the Human Rights Commission of Sierra Leone is actually constrained by Section 16 of the Act that talks about exclusion of jurisdiction. So any matter already before the court, you know, the, the, the law say we cannot investigate that matter. Mm -hmm. However, we have been able to, we have been um, going I mean, out of our way to ensure that the human rights issues exactly. around those matters, mm -hmm. you know, we are able to, to ensure that we engage the relevant authorities in the court, you know, for instance, if somebody um, has been coming to court for a long time, you know, without, the matter is not proceeding, mm. you know, then we say, I mean, how about the issue of section 23, you know, that talks about fair hearing, okay? You have to ensure that the person is brought to court, you know, and, be, uh, and, and there is spirit trial, you know, because that itself is another human rights issue. How about you know? an instance where somebody complain of not being well, he's been complaining, <laughs> you're a lawyer. We have, we have There's been cases where lawyers and they even come and say, this person know well, he needs to be granted bail so that he will get better um, 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 health, health care. And yes, so that is, that is, that, that is one of the human rights issues then. You know, there is, there is the case in court um, where we have written to the attorney general, the chief justice, sorry, the chief justice to say, I mean, get this person bail, let this person go and address, I mean, 
health issues because there are clear instances of health issues mm. so that the person will come back i mean if he has to come back or if she has to come back i mean to answer to whatever charges against him but this is actually about health because the person cannot be here or i mean under the custody of the judiciary vis-a-vis -vis the correctional services and probably loses his life or her life mm -hmm. you know then it becomes even much more compounding you know so get this person a bill i mean admit that person to bill so that the person could go out there and 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 and, and get medical attention so mm -hmm. these are very serious issues for us you know it doesn't matter i mean who, who's in who's in who's in governance who's in, it's it's about it's about humanity so if you take if you look at humanity from that perspective it could be long, it could be you it could be your your friend your sister your brother your mom your your, your dad then you begin to see that yes you know, we have to approach national issues beyond, I mean, politicking, beyond, um, I mean, just mere criticism for the sake of it. You know, it's very serious. Is, is it safe to say, you know, some of the institutions there, the state institutions there that should expect the rights of citizens have not been expecting them? Um, it's difficult to, to, to use, a, a, I mean, a big brush to just paint all of them the same. I, I said it's, it's, some, it, some of them. Yeah, so some yeah, of I mean, them. when you say some, now we begin to ask, I mean, who are, the, who, who are those that belong under the category of some? Mm. So that is why it's difficult for me to just say, oh, yes or no. You're trying to you be know? very careful with some well, no, You've highlighted some of these are things that you've see, highlighted. I, I, you una don't, now una several reports. You know, you as a lawyer, you so have to be measured. Say. You have to be measured when you 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 take. I mean, no, no, but you have to be honest as well. With yeah, the of course I am. Well. If, I am. If, if institutions our, our are views doing things rightly, you should call them out even and we, say no. We think we have we have done that on a number of occasions. But why are you not trying to say it here? I'm asking How? you. you say it. I'm asking <laughs> uh, you. You think say some? Which one are the institutions that we think say are, mm. are really not doing well in expecting the rights of people? Even when they come out with reports and recommendations. No, Lamana, you have seen. I mean. In a plethora of our reports, for instance, we have called out the police. You, I mean, it's nothing that is strange or hidden. Mm. We have called out the police on a number of occasions. Mm. You know, we, so I said we, some earlier, you say me they use. No, yeah, we say, so we say, say exactly, we say some. Them, so, when you name them now, you know, some you can mean 10, 50. Eh? So, you can name those, uh, no, uh, so you can name no, those who've not been expecting the No, no, so, so our reports are very clear. So, if you, I mean, normally we advise Sierra Leoneans to love to read. You know, people don't read. Mm. I mean, they just sit down and assume. Oh, what, what you my commission they do? But they don't read what to, what, what to do. You know, they don't, read our, they don't read our reports, they don't read our press releases, our activities. You know, if you go to Facebook, they are there, our website, they are there. So if you take a report, for instance, the, national, the, the annual report, mm. it's clear on those who have been respecting human rights, those who have, who have, who have more to do, those who have not been for respecting human rights. So I'm just, I've just told you, I've just given you an example, that mm. We have called out the police on a number of occasions mm. for not being professional with the way they handle issues that, that, that actually occur in the country. Mm -hmm. We have done, we so have the said police that. police are notorious? Well, that, I mean, the all notorious, you know. For not, for not uh, you know. It's, it's, a human, it's not a human rights language, so no, I will not use it. Okay, the police are not they implement the recommendations there. Majority of the recommendations are more than the Yeah, not to. all. Majority of the recommendations then, you know, um, the police have not been found to to work with the commission to, recom to, to um, address those recommendations. Okay. Yes. Uh, the, the issue of, you know, expecting the rights of people, I ask you this question again, with recent happenings in the country, mm -hmm. um, you know, waiting, waiting on a fair assessment of Usai we did as a nation in, we don't get that there. Earlier I mentioned the waiting up on a Makini, Tumbo, mm. waiting up in a Pademba Wood um, Correctional Center, Recently, we get August 10th, Wednesday, August 10th issue. The issue of death of civilians, where it comes to the issue there. Waiting on a clear, you know, assessment of that. Who side the problem there? Now, in the first place, I mean, death of whatever kind is unfortunate. That's the position in the first place. Mm. So whatever you've, all of the instances you have mentioned, all of these are very, very unfortunate incidents that we, we don't see in this country. Mm. Um, uh, who side the problem today? The problem they, I mean, mostly with them um, public institutions, you know, I mean, for instance, the police, how do they react? The problem also deal with, I mean, nas I mean, normally uh, the average Sierra mm. you know, the way how we, we go out and, and take politics as the be all and the end all. So the issue about politics in our country don't really, really, it's so hard, so deep. 
into the fabric of society. And if we don't have a rethink, it don't go over well for, I mean, we own generation, we are done, but for we can pick them, we pick them, we can pick them the generation. It's a very, very bad. Uh, uh, so, as a commissioner, I think saying that politics can trigger some of them things in there as well. We make yes, 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 yes. I mean, it's not hidden. Mm. It's not, I mean, take your phone right now, open social media, you see all manner of arguments across, you know, whether it's WhatsApp, Facebook, um, TikTok, I mean, Instagram. Now, political discussions, then. So, sometimes, even when issues and national issues and will for approach with the national eye, with a missam. Once we call politics inside, a perpetrator, for instance, will just walk, I mean, it go because now they don't politicize the whole issue. Mm. So that perpetrator, they no, no will be accountable, no will counter because it will be about EU versus APC versus SAPP issue, mm. which is not the case, which should not be the case. Okay. You see? There, there was this issue of the correctional center I will ask you about. Mm. Uh, have you been able to, to get a closure of, of, of actually um, what happened, how them people and they die and who are for, for take responsibility for, for them people and they were dying at that place? Eh? Okay, okay, the, uh, okay, the, the, the incident the the, yes, yes, yes. So um, now we, 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 we put out a statement in, in respect to that. Um, we did not do a, um, a, a conclusive investigation, so that is why I told you that um, this public inquiry will also have a look into that. I mean, though we have got complaints from people, we are going to look at those complaints and they will call people and for me they can testify openly so that we will foresee the issues then. But members say also the correctional services themselves, they put out a press statement, they gave us, I mean, what happened, mm -hmm. I mean, their own, their own um, I mean, narrative of what happened. They gave us figures about how many people died and so on and so forth. But then we are very hopeful that um, or we implore. We're not going to investigate. No, no, that is say we, 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 we did not do a conclusive investigation. Mm. Why, why? You know, because, you know, um, when, by then, when the incident happened, it was so, I mean, chaotic. So there were security concerns across the place day. Mm -hmm. You know, they would tell you, say, no, you cannot for now, you know, we don't trust, I mean, people are coming because there have been security breaches, according to them, when they look at the camera, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so then we said, if today, if now it's not okay, then we'll find a, a, another way. Mm. So that is why we're having this public inquiry. People have the opportunity to come on board, you know, make complaints on behalf of those, I mean, their, own, their, 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 their family members, their relatives, them, or friends, them. You, you, know. you keep repeating this public inquiry. I, yeah, because I, and, it's and very and important. And I keep wondering how, when people are going to come out with, with reports, them, and, and, and investigations, them, they are not being, you know, expected to some extent. Institutions and not they implement the recommendations. And all people are accountable. One can even mention in the rep report there. How, how this will change anything? How so, is it going to so, change? So anything? it's not it's not entirely true that institutions and not they respect the recommendations. Then, mm -hmm. you know, what is true is that um, not all the recommendations them the majority take, of the recommendations they, they take into account. Mm -hmm. And it's different from that investigations is different from an inquiry mm. where at the end of the day it's not just to highlight findings and recommendations but to go further than that to actually give directives mm. okay to make like we say go a, a court and make a judgment mm. it, it pronounce a judgment so we have to do directives you know we have to make recommendations as well as give directives as to what should be done to a b and c person or, 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 or institution that may have been found infringes human rights. So, so why is it that this institution are not the, not the idea to some of the recommendations that we, yeah, so we, we can bring out? You know, because uh, this, this is, the, the commission is established by an act of parliament, it so is, an yes. independent institution, it is, it is. And, and the foremost human rights institution at the country, it, where it they is. expect a state institution them for respect. It is, no, Silamana, it's about, it's an issue of um, um, cultural practice. I mean, Sierra Leoneans, they generally take away public life, go back to private life. We don't like to be accountable. We don't like to be called out. We don't like to be, I mean, I mean challenged on issues. You know, even when you get Papa Naos, if you challenge him as a picking owner, oh, it's a serious problem. So once we start, um, I mean, at that level, private life, now, now we bring back into public life. So these institutions, sometimes they take us as an anti you know, um, government institution. We don't want government to survive or we don't want government to succeed. Mm. But as a matter of fact, you know, those who don't understand, they should understand, they should know that our work actually gives government credibility. Because it means that government gets amid the balls for allow an institution like the Human Commission for call them out where they are weak. 
where they are not able to actually perform well, you know, in terms of human rights issues. Mm -hmm. So we continue to get them to understand, I mean, public officers, that it is just common to ensure that you play your role to protect and promote human rights, to respect human rights, because the state gets obligation for respect human rights, for, I mean, protect human rights and fulfill human rights. And you think, say, it the state don't adhere to, to that responsibility in, in, in these past four years, in respecting the, the rights of, of, of people, where the state holding it as well? The state holistically has made some progress, but I mean, we still have a long way to go as a country. Mm -hmm. you understand, see, um, for 55 years, Sierra Leone, journalists, for instance, I mean, they were just on the Friday evening, they were just, I mean, arrested and then sent to prison <laughs> on an account of what uh, uh, criminal libel law. But government don't repeal that one day. You understand, see, I mean, um, over the time, we've seen where people, them, opposition leaders, and members, them, you know, they don't, they don't just kill them because, I mean, uh, we, because of the public, I mean, um, the, the death penalty mm -hmm. law. Government don't actually pull that one day. You don't see how women them over the years they don't actually suffer a lot, you know, picking them. So we get the Sexual Offences Act of 2012 amended in 2019. You don't see how you don't give powers. They don't open the the, the sexual offences model courts. You know, we don't now able to make they get a lot of convictions. Mm. So um, these are progress. I mean, no matter how you look at them, you know, these are tangible progress made. Mm. But then I will always say that much more needs to be done for ensure say we get. A, I mean, a society where the culture of human rights is, en is really, really, I mean, uh, 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 enhanced, you know, deep down from the beginning, you know, from your, 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 your home to your school to public life. So we have not gone there yet. We are yet to, be, to, to actually attain that kind of level we the commission wants. But then we believe, say, collectively and government, you know, government institutions then, with the, with the, with, with, with the, 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 the sense of responsibility for ensuring human rights plays a pivotal role. You know, it then at the heart of any policy or programs of government. Once we do that, we're able to is, enjoy is human rights Is the commission rights concerned about the, the recent issues of the opposition politicians complaining about arrest of their members and detention of all that? Are, are you concerned about So that? we are concerned about everybody in this country. They are asking specifically. Yes, so yeah. we are concerned about anybody that, that, that that calls on us or that we see, you know, um, that they, they, they've been subjected to harassment or, mm -hmm. or being arrested, as the case may be, as we put it. So we are, we are concerned for, I mean, about everybody. Mm -hmm. You know, the thing is, Lamana, yes, because, because these people are the ones that have resources, they have, I mean, they have access to media and so on and so forth. So you see that kind of tension or you are able to hear their stories. Mm -hmm. But there are thousands of Sierra Leoneans I mean, from Cambia to Kono to Pujang to wherever in this country that are really, really suffering. Okay, we don't get to hear about them. You people don't get to hear about them. We get to hear about them because we interface with them. Mm. You don't get to hear about them because they don't have resources. They cannot access the media. They cannot tell their stories. We only hear from um, uh, 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 I mean, politicians. Mm -hmm. Okay, because they have the resources, they have the access, they have lawyers. Those, I mean, down to the people. Those, I mean, average Sierra Leoneans. They don't have, I mean, lawyers. They can't actually fight them, I mean, for themselves. So we are concerned about every manner of person, everybody, Wait, opposition, Afghan I mean, those in government. No, we are concerned with everybody. What's in the commission in position with um, the judiciary and respect for the rights of people? So um, we think that um, judiciary has done a lot, but they need to do more because um, with the decentralization of um, um, the of courts, okay, or of justice, if you like, put it that way. You know, they've been able to go to Falaba, far-flung areas, you know, where before now there were no courts, you know, Kon Kailang and so on and so forth. You know, we believe that um, it's a way to give, to create access, to get people to actually, you know, um, gain access to justice or to judiciary. Mm. But we believe that, um, I mean, much more needs to be done, for instance, in an issue of, um, um, I'm a lawyer, I mean, we have been having, we have been following instances where um, lawyers who say their cases, you know, are not being, I mean, um, assigned on time. You know, there are several cases they will say are not being assigned on time. So we believe that they have to do, that, they have to do more in that area. And also there's the issue of um, judgment taking for long, you know, before, um, I mean, they, they could be pronounced in court or other view. So these are issues then we believe say they for do more, you know, for be able to address them. Because, you know, um, justice has to be dispensed 
in a speedy manner. Okay. Okay. So all of these are issues that we believe. See. Okay. Look, look and talk about um, recent happenings. I go. I go want to know what's in the commission in position on this. But quickly, let me watch. Let me take a look at um, um, the video, and then we go can discuss what's in the commission think about this. Yes. Morning. Your name is Ben Sliman Kamara. I mean, at the falls by taking for Zainab Kalong. We they be shoot on the tenth of August. 2022 on Colec. That is the way the shooter within the house where can be the shooting. But you said within the house? Within the house, I witnessed the scene where the guy can inside the compound can shoot. Witness the scene. So, like now, I say, who do we call on the government for the, the guy who remain because I don't go say body, but it's like he made all left now. So, it don't make 62 days for him. So, we call on the government, they will go remain. So by 10, 9.30 to 10 o'clock, we get news here that we can't kill the sister and I post. This is how it's my father's job. We need my shooter from this end. That the bullet mark is the sister and I have. Then the other bullet mark is the other. I have two shots here. One eye arm, one eye neck. It drop in my arm. The one who is here, you see now, take sack will come out. You get mask. You get protective shield. You get two guns. You get one pistol now. You come. It's up right in front of this place. He shoots the woman two times. The way don't shoot him, it's not for like five minutes. For see the woman don't die or not die before he move. He go. He go. Then far first, then come to eat. We try to take the body for so going to uh, um, this place, Okupa. But because of the tension, the farmer never turned for, for the cottage. On the way to the cottage now, I let the pass off. So the following day, they will see we will get some money. Because the woman will go to riot, so for saying that she will go to riot or in a street, put it up in a right inside all the shooter. We tell her go to no more, follow scenes, we will seek medical attention, we will we rescue her. But at that time, it will be unfortunate for we to we rescue her. So we go the following morning to follow up with the matter. While Mr. Sine, I proceed for care all the body that go to mortuary in a corner. Go corner to do the follow up. Go the one tell, go the two tell, we go almost every day with the go. But the discouraging thing now, we the go nobody need tell me nothing. They just say, I go can't tomorrow. I go can't tomorrow. Don't we go up to foreign uh, internal affairs. We let me give some document for sign. Later they come out, they say, No, I go. We need the G again. And it is happening. We will bear with sister. We will pay any kind of amount so then we then we then demand say no give then they give you the body. We able. And I say this person for we get word on the twenty fifth September. Yes. The twenty fifth, yes. The twenty fifth uh, September. We don't they don't do all things, they don't pay how the how can call her in bright price. Islamically. They don't pay her. They don't pay and I won't be daddy. They pay her. They don't pull a shop, they don't buy, they don't do all things, they don't shop it. But Kubo Kutin they don't do. All things they don't give people all without for concerning the marriage. They don't give it to them for the for lady. They validate them with the weight no more. What they can kill and so now I push. It disappeared me and we need a plea to government to. I need a plead. I will write them for giving the body. Because our person we don't go for identify. If nobody will identify him, we not be able to go for God identify and I know we should go to him. From the president, we don't send condolences. We don't know their choice. That's the only way. Every morning, not only that to be express money. Because money is not everything. The loss is not only for all this time. Like the man with the list which we give me, we need to be talking to them. Because some questions I can answer, the same system is not to be answered. We don't be all these two full months, August 10th to October 10th. Not too many we expect. We need to be so calm at least. 
Just a plea that um, we want to make on behalf of the family members is we've made that agreement that we are going to plead to the ministers involved and the government to see that um, they will help we get hold of the report If there is a need, not forcing things, but we are just pleading. If we can consider that, make it a second thought, it's good. If not, we can still follow suit. This morning, when I uh, had an interview, with, uh, an interview that was made with the uh, information minister, who said it because of security concerns. What do you make? What do you make of what the minister's reason is? Namely, security concern for not turning the bodies over to the families. No, that one is totally substantiated. You know, we don't accept that. It's not as a result of security concerns. Why do you think? That is. It's just a way for them to keep holding on to the body. They don't want to give the body to the family. No, but they said because of security concerns, you say it is not. What do you think is the reason for them not giving the bodies back to the families? Particularly in your case, Evangelist Samson's body. Yes, um, possibly they might be viewing Evangelist Samson with a political lens. Because he, he is a political... He is a political um, comment, a social social media um, commentator, right? In Virginia, something is well known for the APC party. They are seeing, they are observing um, Evangelist Samson with a political lens. So it, because of political reasons, they are holding up to Evangelist Samson cops. It's not as a result of actually in a family members step. You know, the one that will be the request before the funeral and the other family in Atonda Hill of a lady with die and picking being talk as well. And what's in the commission make of this? This is the most recent thing we happen. People will die on Wednesday, August 10th, and the one that will die after the aftermath of it, Evangelist Samson is one person where police say um, die during crossfire and a McKinney and all of that. The people them request for the, the body of them loved ones. The government not give them. Um, Lamana, first of all, on behalf of the United Commission of Sierra Leone, I want to again express we had felt condolences to the big families, and we pray that um, the I mean the souls of the departed rest in perfect peace. You know this is so. Um, you know it's 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 really I mean difficult I mean to to bear. It's very very difficult to bear. And the whole incident itself, na, a very unfortunate incident, very, very unfortunate because, you know, at the end of the day, you see lives then lost. I mean, it's the same thing we I believe we tell you about um, loyalty to political party. We people don't put ag as against loyalty to Sierra Leone. And to me and to the Human Rights Commission of Sierra Leone, we believe, see, all of those people involved in letting those um, who, who passed away, you know, or putting them in arms way, all of them should be investigated and they should be brought to book. Whether now it's the, the, the police, those who may, may, may have, um, I, mean, uh, I mean, firearms, or those who, I mean, unlawfully took those people to street, to the streets, all of them should be made to account. Mm. Because look, I mean, 27, 27 bodies, it's so, it's so difficult. I mean, um, I'm really broken, you know. And the, you the know. situation, Yana, that family members requested that. Yes. They've been kept for over two months. Mm. Family members requested that. So when I give you this body, there are people where their family identify them. They were not 
part of those who went out. Like that woman with a narrating story. Now in host in family claims say then go and kill him. They ask for the body, let them bury him. They don't give them the body. Yeah, you know, um, is that not an abuse of culture? Uh, I mean, people? culturally, culturally, um, um, every family for be able for 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 bury in in relative or in loved one. I mean, respectfully, in a way, we then, then decide or they choose. Mm. So, I mean, for the Human Commission of Sierra Leone, we believe say those bodies should have been handed over to them. Okay, having said that, uh, we don't follow. Um, the government position. They I mean, made mention of security reasons. They mm -hmm. said they've had experience before. Mm -hmm. You know, we are such, I mean, I mean, funeral, you know, burial, all of a sudden turns out to be a political gimmick. You know, mm -hmm. people expressing political sentiments uh, and it becomes violent. That is the, the reason they put forward. Mm -hmm. You know, so it becomes a very dicey thing. You know, wanting is, is, to is that tangible? <laughs> like, like you've had from from a woman who Havana did a report, and a woman yeah, narrated about her daughter in picking where she come out for yes. look for him. Yes, I still able to go and kill her. Yes, I think it, the, the, the daughter was in, in right in in her house or something. Yeah, yes. the other family. I've I've spoken yeah. to family. I've been to the house at so that is why I said the I've whole seen. incident is so but, unfortunate. But the commission you know? don't they follow all of this? Yes. And why haven't you intervened before this and make governments know say it's the right of these people for let them get them body and go bury them out they want for bury them it's it's their own right so government told us i mean that um for identify those corpses now be a very serious challenge so that is why in fact they said the thing had to last for i mean the whole issue of burial had to go as far as two months or mm, so mm. you know people could not come forward to identify their their i mean their loved ones so, I mean, for us as a commission, we believe say, there could have been a middle ground, you know, particularly so those with na astri bullets, I mean, they were like that woman we really talk about in six months old or something. Mm -hmm. You know, those people, I mean, they could have given them, that, there is nothing connected to, to politics, so, I mean, in their own cases. You know, and culturally as Sierra Leoneans, we believe say where you post and die, you know, you want to forget all of the respects, you know, we deserve before ever you go you go learn to rest. Is it safe to say the rights of them people that have been abused, have not been expected? The yeah, cultural rights. rights, yes, the cultural rights. By the way, I mean, um we we, we have we have several categories of rights. Mm -hmm. So in this case the cultural rights of them, you know, should have been much more respected. That is how I well, would put it. Any law there as well, we stop we say government for hold on to them, but you're a lawyer, you mm -hmm. know better than me. So, uh, government, <laughs> um, then people are not so people, um, I agreed with him, Dr. Blyden, be the right. Uh, she was saying it, it, can, it can only happen if for the government only body, if now during crisis, during war, or now in a certain situation. Any law they for them, for the government hold on to them, but they are not give the people living with us? Okay, so the constitution, you know, in many instances, we look at um, saying, um, Chapter three, you know, it it talks so much about national security concerns, mm -hmm. and that is what I've had the government spokesman, I mean, make a mention of on a number of occasions, that for the issue of um, public safety or national security concern, they decided to to have a state-led, I mean, burial. Mm -hmm. So if you're asking for a law, um, I would say the constitution, you know. Um, talks about in, in instances of national security concern. You understand? They could take certain measures for ensure see other the rights of other people them are protected. I mean, in, is the commission concerned that um, you know a, a lot of people have been charged to court? Some of them then don't even sentence them. Um, you know, on this Wednesday, August tenth matter, mm. and we've not had any case of security forces or agencies being investigated. For whatever happened by by either the the, the military or the police, the, these are testimonies of people who claim say then go and then place them and then shoot them then 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 relatives. So that is the issue we have in the police. You know, the police have to be much more. Um, I think, uh, for want of a better word, they have to be much more bold enough. You know, to to call out one of their members. In other words, I mean, when it's used of unprofessionalism occur, you have to be able to surrender, I mean, that individual personnel who may have done the wrong thing, at least to clean up your own image. Sometimes they try to protect one personnel or two, as the case may be, you know, as against the reputation of the institution. So we have always said, and including this case, mm. those who may have operated, I mean, wrongly, 
you understand, they must be brought to, to book just as the others are, that are before the court. Mm. That should be the, the, the best practice, and that is what we are calling for. Are, are you concerned that everyone has been named as, as, as you know, um, people in way, we're involved in insurrection. Some, in some section, they've been termed as terrorists, people in way, commit them. And now it's coming out that there were even people who um, innocently, you know, they, they were not involved in all of this. Is the commission concerned with that black blanket term, you know, from, from the government on, on those who were involved in that? that, that? You, you, you know, um, you know, we have, we, for us, I mean, as lawyers, I mean, the, by the way, human rights, it's human rights and law. So there is, you cannot divorce human rights from law. So um, there is already in place a committee. Mm. So whatever nomenclature or lexicon, what have you, whatever, I mean, description they may have used, mm. does not actually hold right now. Mm. What holds is what the committee brings up or what the court would say. So whatever description is of no moment as far as we are concerned. Is the commission, will they do investigation on this or it's asked to go back to the inquiry we've been they talk about? The, the, the 27 people then just bury them, you know, and police officers as well, we should mention that six of them died, they were killed and they don't bury them as well. Is, is the commission doing some investigation into this on what, what actually happened? Yes, yeah, so um, just after August 10th, we... Well, on the very day, but because it, be, it became so much um, um, reality, so we had to, uh, I mean, call home our guys, you know, our personnel, our staff. But then the investigations are ongoing. We started investigations to know exactly, um, I mean, those who were involved, the level of um, damage and so on and so forth. I mean, the number of people that actually lost their lives and so on and so forth. So it's something that we we, we are pursuing. But um, like I've just told you, the entire incident, you know, was really, really unfortunate, you know, leading to the loss of how many lives, you know, including police officers. It's so, so unfortunate. We should not, we have passed this stage. 20 years on since the end of the war, we decided long before that no more we use, we, we use violence, you know, to, to sort out our differences. You know, we can't. How, how did that actually um, help the situation, the August 10 incident? No. It didn't. It just led to the loss of even innocent lives. People were not even concerned about about a, 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 a protest all of you. Is, is the commission also concerned about socioeconomic rights of, of <laughs> people as <laughs> well? <laughs> In fact, that is, that is the biggest for us, that is the biggest rights. You know, we have been paying attention so much on civil and political rights. Mm. Okay, oh, my right for vote, my right for express myself, yeah. blah, blah, blah. Mm. But how about your right to education, mm -hmm. which is an empowerment right, mm. which makes you become like Lamana, mm. you know, that sits here and interviews people. Mm which makes you become, I mean, the president, which makes you to lead the uh, UN, mm -hmm. as the case may be. Mm -hmm. We are much more concerned about the rights to employment. Mm -hmm. That is very important. When you have employment, you know, you, the, the, we saw several videos, you know, of young people going out there. Mm -hmm. That nobody will come to you to say, let's go to the streets. Yeah. It's not possible, <laughs> you are engaged. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we want people, we want, we want um, government to make big, I mean, to intervene big in the area of creating job opportunities for our people, for young people, to f so that they will be engaged and the opportunity for politicians to use them as plaything in the hands of their I mean, political, political foes will not arise or it will be minimized. So we are really, really concerned, you know, about I mean, economic rights. So whether it's the rights to education, the rights to, to work, you know, clean drinking water. You have, you have followed the, the other day we yeah, call the press course. conference on, yeah. I mean, water and sanitation. All of these are basic issues that to me, you know, we have passed this thing. We should be able to provide them now for our people. Yeah. You understand? So we have to be much more serious. Someone Over concerned. 100 as a nation, um, as somebody will sit there with a look over, um, you know, how institution, the states, they expect the rights of people. Over 100. How you go assess you? I think every day. Uh, as the country, as the state? Yes. <laughs> Which always seem to happen. Which always seem to happen recently as well. Uh, I mean, um, I'm not good at assessing. When I was a lecturer, I used to give, um, you could have written a lot. I think you, you think you've passed. Uh, I give you 50, I give you um, 45. How much you go give know. me as a country? So in terms of the enjoyment of human rights, you know, um, it's something like I told you earlier, it's, it's so difficult to put a number to or a figure to, mm. whether 65, 45, 50, it's difficult. Mm. So except to take indicators, you know, but if you just put everything together and give a blanket, it becomes 
difficult and also be Imagine put fear on other issues. The state's now one of his students. She the, you the assess with now. With how much you will give over one on there. So um, probably if you rephrase the question to um, look at first generation of rights, second generation no, of rights. No, you put everything and together and now. No, that is the it difficult dilemma. No, no, it shouldn't be. No, you say no. When no, you, are, you, you know, see, everyone when you go to no, school, no, no. there no, are subject you, no, you areas. The there are subject areas. No, you go put the assessment in, they're expecting the rights of, of people on certain aspects or certain way. Now, this you think, say, we don't do. That is what I'm asking. You know better. You, you, you okay, I mean, right? yes. I mean, personally, I, I, this is not, probably this is not the view now of the commission because mm. we have not sat down to put a figure Mm. On but the commission the thinks that we are doing well as on a the nation. performance on the performance. And, and expecting the guys of some of the issues there, where would they talk about people well, came out? Yeah, it has been condemned. They put some of them protested mm. violently, destroyed mm. properties, and killed police officers. But I swear, how do you see that? Yeah, I'm saying people did it. We all we all have condemned that. That no one should protest violently, mm -hmm. destroy government properties, or kill mm -hmm. police officers. We get ways than walking protests if we want to do them peacefully. Yeah, exactly. Forget clearance and do them peacefully. But as well, they, we've got claims of people who are saying they were killed at their homes. Yes, that is, that is unfortunate. That should not happen. It shouldn't happen at all. And we have to address those issues. There should be, I mean, accountability mechanisms. That is what we are calling but for. Someone should so people take responsibility. Yeah, they, they, for instance, the police. Because but no one has. Without All this don't happen, no one has. That is the problem we're having. You know, why, why can't normally, when issues of this actually arise, I mean, come out and say, we did wrong, we, we apologize, let's move on, we can make ourselves better going forward. But that, there's no culture like of that in our country. With all of some that people happening. even resign, but in other countries, but some people even resign, but here, no. With all of that happening, what much you go give you? With all of that happening, I mean, maybe there are other issues, I mean, there are other areas that will score great, I mean, maybe 55. Uh, yeah. Can I pass Mark Randy? Maybe 55. I okay. think conservative, yeah, conservatively, I would say that. Okay. Yeah. Commissioner Victor Lansana, thank you very much for talking to us um, about nine. human rights. Um, now, so we can try for do. Let me get diverse issues, the more they talk about, so people in can understand, say, um, with our rights, we have responsibilities as well. We of shouldn't, course. We of shouldn't course. forget of that course. As, as citizens. Um, we get a lot of way for um, show with disagreement with government, we can vote. When elections come, if you think, say, the government mm. not do well, you can it's vote that, against them. That's it, that's it. You vote your right person, but um, as well, we not think, say, for be violent. But as well, we not think, say, people learn for abuse power and abuse rights as well. In instances where we've got families who've, um, you know, testified that their loved ones were killed, you know, um, we, we just think, say, um, governments have got a responsibility, as Victor said, the state gets a responsibility for protect the rights of it. Um, citizens. Well, thanks very much for joining it's us. A pleasure. And congratulations to the Commission for um, going to grade A status. We hope so we're going to maintain that. There are young people that try and say that can be maintained and yeah. uh, be sustained. If, and I, if, I, if I, what I normally say in the office, I say if we can't be a grade institution, all of us, commissioners and staff, we just need to pack our bags and just leave okay. and close this commission. Okay. Because that is the only reason why we should survive, why we should, we should stay there. Okay. So, yes, I mean, to the, to the people of, of this country, we continue to serve you. I mean, Try us, come to us, we have our regional offices, always bring your complaint. Don't take the laws into your hands. Try the institutions and see what we can do for you. Please, I mean, this country is ours to enjoy. It's ours to suffer. Okay. We cannot continue to suffer this country. We can only do more to ensure that, you know, we have a country where human rights, you know, the, the culture of human rights is embedded in every nook and cranny, from your, from your home to school to your office, wherever you are. Let us enjoy human rights, let us respect human rights, and let us also have our responsibilities. We should be able to, 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 to conduct ourselves in a way that ensures that we are responsible citizens of this country. Thank you very much, Commissioner Victor Lantana from the Human Rights Commission of Sierra Leone. Um, now, so we the end hot seats today. Thanks to one of our viewers them and listeners them, and to the production and technical team for reading support the program. Today we'll meet back next week. Me, Naamadou Lamganaba, continue for watch AYV. Chairman of Renaissance, and Renaissance was considered to be an independent body that advocates for change. So, I'm not asking you to ask about. You were, you were Minister of Information, where President Koma announced austerity measures from State House.